Right, let's do this video for you quick. There's a Honda update. Um, not really much, but uh, I took the flower off underneath it. This little thing. This little oil pump. <laughs> don't know exactly how it works, but hey, it's an oil pump. It's got to be an oil pump. I don't know what else it could be. Um, I just in inside of the uh, flywheels filled with crud and dirt. So I'm gonna take a metal wire brush to that and clean that up. Got to get rid of this oil. This is part new oil and part old oil. And oh, and this drive. Actually, I'm surprised how this works. Inside, it's got like a new normal gear, like a cog in there, and that's just running off a worm gear that's on the camshaft. So, um, I'm not liking that design brilliantly. There's a lot of load going onto this shaft. I don't want anything to happen to the cam in there. So, I'm putting this on an engine. This is wrapped with cobwebs. Um. Don't over adjust your valves because otherwise your valve will hit a piston. I found that out. The exhaust valves. The exhaust valves taken a little knock, but it's not too bad. So, that's about it. And some stupid design. PCV tube. I thought it would have had like a nipple on it that you just slot it onto, like, a, like the fuel one. But no. The actual pipe slots into the engine block, just like that. And. Yeah, sure it works, but I don't like it. It seems a bit sloppy. I've actually found out what kind of lawnmower this came off of. Here is that. It's a Honda lawnmower with self-propelled, uh, I think it was a two-speed self-propelled lawnmower with... Um, you can either get them with one big rear roller or two little um, rollers. Or one, either with one big roller or just two wheels. That's what I was looking for. Uh, it really is windy out there. My heater died because my battery died. Um, I've got now. Yeah, and it also has a little. Uh, it does have a bracket that you put on the bottom for a blade clutch. That's why it's got a cast iron flywheel. So it's actually a really good little engine. This. If I wanted to put it on my go kart, I could. I'll just have to put an oil splasher on the end of the comrod and, that, and find a way of man, um, remounting the carb. But at school, I've now started to make the um, inlet manifold for my go-kart. I've got to drill about 40 more holes and should be getting there. This gasket needs replacing too. Overhead valve cover. I don't know if I've said it in this video, but I'm going to paint that black and the overhead valve writing, the OHV. I'm going to get that painted in white and get my sister to do it because she's better at like, painting and crap. I'm just going to spray it black and get her just to do it, paint the overhead valve with a paintbrush. So, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later.